there's one fantasy need that I want the Cardinals to address, and this video breaks it down. Let's get it. All right, so let's go over the depth chart currently right now for the Arizona Cardinals. Let's go ahead and try to figure out if we can see who is the number one need, fantasy need, for this team. Now, I'm only gonna break down the quarterback, the running back, the wide receiver, and the tight end because we don't draft offensive linemen. So let's first off start off with the quarterbacks and check out the depth chart. So as we see here, we have Kyler Murray and Colt McCoy. Now, Kyler Murray has been hurt. He's been kind of a frustrating type of player to have around uh, in this organization. They already got their head coach that that hired or that drafted him fired. He's done for. Kyler Murray, they even put in his contract at the beginning saying that he had to do uh, X amount of video research and studying for the games because maybe he's not as much of a leader as we think he is, but he should be ready to go for week one. He should be back healthy. We don't know if he's going to have his main wide receiver and DeAndre Hopkins there, but that's kind of wait and see. Colt McCoy is a viable backup if Kyler Murray does miss some time. He can get the job done. He's just not as electric as a Kyler Murray is. So let's go ahead and look at the running back position. Check out the depth chart. We're looking at James Conner, Keontae Ingram, Corey Clement, and Tyson Williams. Now they did draft uh, Keontae Ingram to kind of be the replacement for James Conner. He really just didn't really fill the part in. Uh, James Conner's one season he may be injury prone, the other season he plays all of the game. So who really knows what you're getting? James Conner is a decent running back, but he's not uh, what he once was when he was down in Pittsburgh. He is kind of a, an aging type of running back. He still, you can label him uh, as injury prone. So it's just one of those positions that the Cardinals, if they want to make some noise later on year in and year out, they have to get younger at the position. They've got to find some electric type of players to play uh, at the running back position. So let's go ahead and break down the wide receivers on this team. Let's look at the depth chart here. We have uh, DeAndre Hopkins, Marquise Brown, Rondell Moore, Greg Dortch, uh, Zach Pascal and Andre Basilia. So they have some good wide receivers here. I know Greg Dortch uh, felt in really, really good when DeAndre Hopkins was going through his suspension. Marquise Brown was going through an injury. Uh, you know, Rondo Moore did his thing. He ended up having some really, really good games. Greg Dortch had uh, two, three, four games in the season that was a really, really well uh, until um, DeAndre Hopkins came back and then Marquise Brown came back. So we're gonna have to wait and see. Uh, does DeAndre Hopkins indeed move on? Do they trade him to a, a different team? Uh, that would make Marquise Brown as the number one wide receiver, but they do have some depth here with Rondo Moore uh, and Greg Dortz, you know, so they're gonna have a one, two, and three at least, possibly a four if DeAndre Hopkins stays on board. They're pretty set at the wide receiver position as of right now. Let's go ahead and look over at the tight end position. Let's check out the depth chart. So we're right now we're looking at Zach Ertz and Trey McBride. Trey McBride sorry. So Zach Ertz did his thing. He ended up getting hurt last year, but he was a top five tight end until he got hurt. Uh, Trey McBride, he was touted as the best tight end in the draft when he was selected. Uh, he has the ability to get the job done. Uh, so they have some depth behind Zach Ertz. I'm not sure how many more years Zach Ertz is going to be in the NFL, but whenever he does step aside, I think Trey McBride is the perfect person to step in and uh, be a part of that team. So without further ado, now that we've kind of broken down all the, uh, the depth chart and where they are fantasy wise, who do I believe is the number one position that the Cardinals need uh, fantasy wise uh, on this offense? I'm going to say it's the running back position. So we're looking at the running backs, James Conner, Keontae Ingram. I just don't think it's going to get it done. They need to be able to draft somebody in there and give some electric behind the field. This is uh, DeAndre Hopkins isn't going to be around forever. They already got a little bit of youth in Greg Dortch and um, uh, Rondo Moore. So they got Trey McBride at tight end. They've got Kyler Murray at quarterback. They've got youth, just not really at the running back position. Yes, they do have Keontae Ingram, but I don't really think uh, he fits the mold of what they really want. But other than that, that is what I believe for the Arizona Cardinals and what they need as the number one fantasy option. We've got a whole series coming out here of uh, breaking down every single team in the NFL of what I think they should have um, on offense. But I can't wait to see you guys on the next video. We'll see you guys next time.